Hello YouTubers, my name is Attila Mate from Blue Sky Photography and today I would like to talk to you about DxO Optics Pro and especially one uh, aspect of uh, this software, DxO Optics Pro, which one I like very very much and I use a lot. Now I have to tell you that um, I have a few more videos about DxO Optics Pro and if you want to uh, find them please uh, search around in my channel. Uh, you can find it or I will place a card up here so you can, uh, you can see where um, you can uh, look on those videos now i let's open up the Optics pro and let's see a photo about this aspect what i just told you that i liked very very much now uh, this uh, this photo it's about the flower and it was done with uh, the lens you can see over here the um, the exif data it's on iso 100 f2 1 500th of a second at 135 millimeter this was the 135 millimeter samyang lens and uh, this photo was done with that now what i like very very much in the X optics pro that you can do uh, editing very quickly and very effectively with only a few clicks like uh, i have another video about uh, smart lightning which is this section and you can see that video up here i will place a card and you can find that video and i have this uh, i want to, uh, to to do this video about the clear view now this is the second thing I like very very much about this soft and that is uh, I will show you the effect just now. So if let's say I opened up this photo and I want to edit what I would do in this uh, scenario I will just open up the smart lightning and then as you can see that some of the some parts of the photo it will darken some parts of the photo it will even uh, um, uh, the exposure will be pulled back. So. I will bring up a little bit the intensity to the middle and then I start this which is the DxO clear view. I start this and look at the results. If you just look when I click the, the button, look, just look at this. Unbelievably good. I mean I just click just one click and I don't really see anything else. What can I do over here? Obviously you have intensity over here so you can give much more intensity or less however you like but automatically the software will give uh, until 50 over here so it's in the middle and uh, even that until 50 you know this is unbelievably good when you look at the photo you don't really have what to do now what i would do i would i would give a little bit more micro contrast again if you look at this micro contrast you can see this part of the photo is changing i would give a little bit more micro contrast to the photo and that's it you see in a few clicks just three four clicks and the photo is edited it is very very important time and effectivity in photo editing in my work and i tell you that's the only reason i use the x optics pro i wouldn't say that in lightroom it's not possible to be done the same thing it is possible but the question is how long it takes because this it takes only three clicks i give three clicks in lightroom it might take two minutes or one minute to do the same problem which one i did over here in 10 seconds actually so time is very very important and i think that um, for every photographer it is very important now like i said i don't say that it cannot be done in lightroom i do say that it can be done i actually did it and i use lightroom sometimes because the disadvantage of this software is that you don't have a selection. You cannot select a single part of the photo and just apply some changes on that part. In the X-Optics Pro you have to apply the changes on the whole photograph. But the good thing is that Smart Lighting and Clear View will analyze the photo and it will act res responsibly. You know, like if it sees that the photo is overexposed over here and underexposed over here, it will act like that. So it won't affect the overexposed part or the underexposed part. It will one it will bring up, the second one will bring down. Now I hope that this video was helpful to you guys. It's only a short video about this thing, but I think it's very important and it's a good thing. I like very very much. DxO has also uh, negative uh, aspects and like I said in my other video I'm not very happy with that that the new cameras they are not compatible with DxO Optics Pro actually the software will not recognize the files so you have to wait until a while until uh, the, the DxO, Optics, uh, start, uh, DxO uh, uh, company will bring the, uh, the, the file formats in the software you know Adobe is much more quicker in that uh, 
scenario you know they do it much quicker than the XO but in the same time if you have a camera which is supported by this software you will see that you will like this uh, software very very much if you try you can try and you can see if you don't like it's not a problem you know I don't say that this is the best software I say that this works for me very very well because it's quick so if you have uh, to add something to this video please feel free and leave a comment down below if you have any question in regards to this uh, software or something you can leave a comment down below and I will try to answer as soon as I can and uh, best of my knowledge other than that I wish you a nice day guys and I'll see you in the next one take care Thank you.